Maar ja, gaan ze ouders kopen, dan hebben we niet ruimte. Dan hebben we een haarlijn aan. Mag ik de ogen toe? Dat gaat eigenlijk zeer weer terug. It goes way back. For one thing, I knew the producer of the first film version of this story. He gave me my first break directing commercials. Hans-Peter Walke produced that movie, but then he went bankrupt during the filming. As a result, he committed suicide. And that's also an analogy for the story of Della Bachkari, who killed himself too. Und das ist schon mal so die Analogie im Grunde genommen zum, zu der wahren Geschichte von Talabakari, die er ja auch umgebracht hat. Ruhe bitte! Läuft! Ja. Action! Der Corinna Glaus hat das Casting gemacht. Corinna Glaus did the casting. She made some suggestions to me. I definitely wanted Hans-Peter Müller-Drossa, not just for commercial reasons, but mainly for his talent as an actor. Corina recommended Nils Althaus to me. I didn't know him. I'd never seen any of his work. We talked for two hours, and I decided to give him the part without even doing a screen test. You can't test that. You simply have to trust, and that trust will later be reciprocated. Darf ich zum Foto bitte für einen anderen Mann? Und die mich ja nicht kommen Ja, Herr Karl. Carla hatte ich eigentlich zuerst. Actually, I didn't want Carla Juri at first. I had somebody else in mind. But then we happened to bump into each other, and I liked her. She was interesting because she didn't match the image I had of her. She had a very solid and relatively simple background, having grown up in Ambri Piotta, where she played ice hockey rather than doing ballet, and that kind of thing. As the cinematographer, you're something like the visual translator of the script. It is something that is ultimately made of pictures, and which then gets sound added to it. In a sense, you're probably the director's closest associate and partner on set. The whole team was unbelievably motivated. They accomplished things that seemed impossible within our time and budget constraints. That was only possible thanks to the commitment and talent of the individuals, as well as the mutual trust that they created to make it convincing. Of course, when you hear Oscar, you think Champions League. But I don't think the team was so motivated because Javier was an Oscar winner. Rather, because he has a way with people that makes it possible for him to bring the best out of them. I didn't want to do a foreign co-production. I didn't want anybody telling me what the sensitivities and identity of the film were about. So the Bernese version of Swiss German was a natural fit for this story. That gives the film a clear identity, a home. I like writing in dialect. I'm not from Bern, but I have a good ear. It's a universal story, a universal conflict, which happens to take place in Bern. As Duren Matt said, even St. Gallen can become a metropolis. When an outsider observes a film set, he has the feeling that half of the people are standing around while the other half are running around chaotically. What you don't see, if you don't know how it works, is that it's a very organized form of chaos and that everybody is working towards a goal that should be visible on screen. Das ist es, was mich irritiert hat, dass er dort wie am gleichen Punkt. Ja, ich bin eben für einen ganz anderen Winkel, ist, oder? Ja. Wenn man natürlich einen Stoff hat. If you've got material that you truly believe in, or you have the feeling that there's real substance, then the team responds differently. 
Then it's not just another film you make where you think, okay, that's it, and then you bring home your meager wages. No, in this case, the team was really into bringing this story to life. Es hat in dem Fall sicher so Anliegen gegeben von den Leuten, die Geschichte auch zum Leben zu wecken. If I'm telling this story, then I want to do it in a way that goes under the skin, and in a way that shows the locations, such as Bern, in a light that you may never have seen them before. Basically, you should forget that it's a historical film. It should be a story that we can relate to today, too. So now we're editing the trailer, and then we'll make a few other cuts, small changes in the film itself. Every time we see it, we think, we could do something here, and maybe there too, and so on. Yeah, that's a wrap. Good, awesome, Amen.